Hello there. How y'all doing today? Wasn't sure if I was coming today, but I said, you know what, let's just do something for a few minutes. So I was looking at these last night, which are my peg stamps. I knew I had some numbers. I forgot it had a whole alphabet set. And I started trying to pull these and didn't know you're supposed to push them through. So, I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to. And it's no instructions that tells me that. But I just started pushing them. And I said, well, I'll just push them while I'm starting my video. So, how y'all doing today? I hope that you have had a great day today. This is how I'm removing these out of here. Because this is what it looks like. I ordered this from Timu some time ago. And you know what? As they was laying right here, I said, they look like cigarettes. Like short cigarettes. That's what I was thinking. And I said, you know what? But they're not. They're stamps with letters and numbers and then a couple of symbols. So, you know, I was looking at these um, boxes to see if I could utilize them. But I think I'm going to save this one piece of a box as this holder. And I might have to keep the little slide on lid part. But I hope you guys have had a great day today on this Wednesday. It's been raining here since Monday. This don't want to push through. Okay. So it's been raining and thundering and lightning for three days. And it's going to rain again tomorrow. So that's what's happening here. And it's pretty cool here. It's probably, it feels like, listen, feel like 43 to me. I think the high today was like 53 or something. But it feels like 43. So we got this. Not sure what I'm going to use this for. Perhaps I could keep it up like that. And if I wanted to do something with the box, I don't know. But this is the box and, you know, it might be useful for a junk journal. You never know. I might just use it. You never can tell. All right. So I had this because last night I wanted to put a number on that, um, on that bookmark that I was making. It wasn't really a bookmark. I cut it to make it like a tag with a hidden paper clip but it didn't turn out that way but when I ended my video I kept working on that um that tag and I kept working on a couple other things so these are two pages I pulled from yesterday that I did not use yet and I left this material out and I had taken a whole lot of stickers to school for my friends so I bought this home and I bought this one and I bought a bird because I thought this was cute for a different journal and this one. I didn't know what this was and the kids was like, it's a duck. And I thought it was a duck and I just finished reading about this one. I wasn't sure. I was like, that's a goose? I don't know. Looks like a duck, but I can't tell. I know that's a duck. So then I uh, pulled these cards out. I got these with two other packs some time ago at the thrift store and I guess they regular cards but this is how they look you know it's like yellow green red I don't know what that means black maybe it has other colors I don't see nothing this is the type of card it is see I don't know what that means maybe somebody knows partners for suit num numerical card game Okay, Parker's, Parker's, I said partner, Parker's for suit, for suit, okay, numerical card game, the game of games, I don't even know what this is all about, but I saw it in the thrift store some time ago, some of them are clearly brand new and others are old, I did not make them like that, this is how they were, but these are shiny and brand new, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but there you go. So I figured if they look like this, they might work good. I'll put a couple in this journal somewhere. Not sure where, but we'll put some somewhere. I'm telling you, you don't have to be saying much, and it'll be already five minutes like it is. 
So this book, I went in my basement to look in my children's book stash to see if I found an um, old McDonald book. And I was like, I don't have an old McDonald had a farm book, but I found this one. And before I went to tear it up, I said, I have to check and see if I read it. I didn't think I had. So I just read this on my children's channel so that they can enjoy the book before the book is, you know, utilized. So we get ready to do something with it. And um, I will show you, I added this, listen, this is all stuck down. This is what I call paper, um, what I call them, paper ruffles. Got them in this cup right here. I made these all this time ago because you're supposed to be able to sew them to your journal. But I, I ain't sewed nothing yet because when I put the book together, I was like, well, maybe you're supposed to sew these laces and do all this kind of stuff before you actually... Uh-oh, something stuck. It's okay. Um, before you actually do your uh, glue in. I don't know. You know, when I be looking at the videos, it's okay. We're going to put some down on that little bit of paper and let that camouflage. Okay? That's all we can do with that. So, that's something else that I made last night. I, I don't know. I don't see people... You know, when they're really sewing things, when they're sewing it, they sew in one page. When you see it again, you know, they're not like sewing it and then putting it in. When you see it again, it's there. Mostly they'll sew something like this and maybe they want to put a fancy stitch around it and put it on a piece of cardstock or a book page and then they'll sew that together. And that's that. So I don't know. But I said, I'm just going to go ahead and crinkle my papers and glue them down when I do it and that's what I did so as you can see I have a lot of them I added to this page the front page and only had this so this is a bookmark I made last night out of a piece of that washi box I just put some stamps of all kind on there and um this one's peeling up and so I did that and um let's see Maybe that didn't get enough on there because it didn't act like it wanted to stay. All right. So all I did was put some stamps on here that I cut out of magazine and some other little pieces and put them on. This thing popped off too. Okay. We got something that can fix all of that. All of these kinds of glues we have. Ugh. So it doesn't matter which one. Some of them are just clear, some clear glue that I bought. And some of it is this clear tacky that's way too much. And I mix the clear tacky with the other clear glue and the Elmer's glue. Because I had a whole gallon of Elmer's glue. And I said, nope, we're going to use all the glues that we have. And when we run out, we'll get some other clear glue. So now we got to let that dry. And it's just like this on the back. And I just ripped some um, book page. That's all I did. I took a piece of book page and I ripped it around in a circle. Somebody might say, well, how? I'll show you how I did it. And um, that's it. I just folded it like this. I won't make the same design and I just ripped it like this. I'm going to try to make this one a heart. Because I don't want the same design. Okay. And come on in like that. Let's come in here and come around and pull this down. Something like that. All right. And that's all I did. And then while it was this way, I inked all around there. Then I turned this over and inked all around there. And then I put... Put the thing down but I did that to this like that and then I just tore this part off like this that's what I did tore all of this off came all the way around the whole thing and I just kept kind of shaping it out in a different way and so I inked it all around here inked it all around here and then I opened it up like this and put it down 
And then it, sh it came out like this shape. And I said, that looked like a teddy bear or something. I don't really know. And I took a black pen, felt marker, or something like that, and came around inside. Then I took this out of another book and put it right there. And I said, that works for me. So now, that's what we did there. I added this piece of notepad, which is this, just to this page. I added that. I made this and I paper clipped it on. So this is just a piece of cardstock. And then I took some tea dye paper. And um, this is not even tea dye paper. This is some painted paper. I made a whole stack of painted papers that I used some brown acrylic paint that was real soft brown, like a almost like a caramel color almost and I just used about that much paint like that and I put it in a big spray bottle with warm water and I shook it up and it came out like a tinged paper but not really colored so it's not white either you know what I'm saying that's white so it looked like that because I don't have time for the tea dye and the coffee tie coffee dyeing all the time so I just took this and I made these staggered pieces and I tore them as I went and that's it. And then I stapled it right there to all of these pieces. Then I glued it down to this pink one. And then I glued all of the papers down so if, if whoever wants to use it pulls it up, it won't pull out of the staple or away from here. And then I just put a piece of book page on top of the staple and a piece of string. And that's all I did. And glued the string down. That's how it got stuck to that. Okay, so just something simple. And then I had it on here like this with a paper clip. That's it. And I really can change that and use this one. It matches that, that green a little bit. So there you go. And that's all I did. I didn't do no whole bunch of anything. Let me get this little dauber and see if we can help this little piece right there since it was stuck you know just add a little something and let's see we have some pages that we can play with i put this folded paper in here i wondered if i wanted to ink it i wasn't sure if i did so i didn't do it i just stuck that in there and said you know everything don't have to have ink and then these you saw me do i added a little peacock here and just set that right there on the edge and then, let's see what else I did when we got off. Um, I did this. I don't think I did this on camera. I didn't. This was another piece of that washi box. And I just made a little tag out of it. And put this piece of cheesecloth on there. And then I just taped a piece of uh, off cut on there. And put this sticker. And I said, that's that step right there. Okay, that's that. Then, you saw me do the pig, okay, and for this, you saw me do that, we have this still, um, let's see, I did not fill these, I just put that one wheelbarrow there that kind of resembles the uh, big blue one that I did, where is it at, this, kind of resembles that, see, so I just said that works right here. We might add something else to it, but it looks cool. Okay, you saw that when I was making it. And did you see me do this? I did this out of a washi box the other day. Okay, this is a piece of washi box. I just put it right on there. And this is what I did out of the tag that I tried to make the hidden paper clip with. I just put the paper on there. You saw me do that. Then I added two like vellum type stickers to it. And then I cut a piece of wording off of a book page. And that's what it says. Okay. The kind things. And I just put a piece of string on there. So that's that. And then we up here. And I didn't add anything to this. I just left it. But the barn looks kind of lonely or something. It's empty. So that's where we are for tonight, okay? So I'm going to take one of these cards. I'm not going to do much of anything, but I'm going to take one of these. 
and I'm going to add it to one of these pockets. Do I want to add it to that one? Or maybe we'll put it in here. Put one in here. Okay, maybe we'll put uh, something else in there. Um, maybe we'll put something else in there too. I don't know, not a princess. Let's see. I think these other ones, I have two more boxes of cards and I cannot find them. I don't know where I put them. They used to be sitting on this table and me and my thoughtful self moved them and I don't know where I put them and I'm kind of upset about it. So, let's see. I don't know if we can fit this one in here. Might be too long, but it won't be too long this way. So we'll add that to it. Okay, you can put whatever, wherever, you know. And so we have some stamps and I wanted to use it. I, last night I wanted to make this with a stamp on it with a number. And I didn't know where my stamps were because I ain't take them out previous to me making it. So now we have this book and I want to use some of these pages like... You know, I just need something. And do we want Farmer Brown? I don't know if we do. Okay, I don't know if we want Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown might be okay if we put him in here. He might be all right. Let's just fold him. It's okay. Should we cover up this? Maybe we'll keep this and we'll just cover this part. Or maybe not. Maybe somebody can use these parts for writing. We might just incorporate that into the journal like this. You know? How about that? That looks pretty cool. Do we need to add something to it? I don't know if we do. It don't have to be on that page. I don't want to fill up every page either. Okay, what if we do it like that? And what if we just put something else on there, like another paper clip? Okay, and then maybe we can tuck something under it. Let's see if we can get a paper clip out of here. The one that I was reaching for was kind of stuck together. It's okay if you leave it like that. We made a heart. Why not use it? Okay. Let's use this heart. What should we do with it? What should we do with it? Let's put it in the middle. Um, How should we put it in the middle? Should we do it at the top? Yeah. Let's do it at the top. Like this and like this. Okay. And then like this at the bottom on the edges and then it can become a side tuck are you going to ink it i'm not going to ink it because everything don't have to be inked it's okay for it just to be a piece of a book page okay put that up and put this and then we can use a little tuck there and have this okay it's all right it's just a piece of book page and a heart underneath. Okay. That's okay. All right. Then, that's, that's not too bad. That's kind of okay like that, I think. Let's tear some more pages out. Might have to do some cutting. Might have to do some cutting. Okay. Like them. I want them. We have cows. So, let's do some cutting. Should we cut? Should we cut? Or should we tear? Hmm. Let's see how we can do it if we tear it out. And then, I'm going to tear the horn off. And come around. And let's see how we can get this kind of 
together for ourselves. And I guess we could have put the whole picture on there, right? I thought about it. Like, just put all of it on there. Because I don't know that it made a whole lot of sense to do it this way. But these are trials and errors. And so, we'll just learn from our little mistakes or what have you. Maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's okay. I mean, I didn't really think I was making a mistake, but I thought about maybe it can just be okay to have just um, just the animal without the... I mean, because they have a feeding trial there, so we don't really need the hay or, you know, something like that. They can just have the feeding trial and be standing there, okay? That can work like that. Okay, so we'll leave that there. This still can be a tuck. We'll have plenty of tucks, it looks like. But let's keep looking and see what else we have. I have this page here. And this side has, you know, like a little letter. And I didn't really want to, um, you know, like take the letter part away. So let's see if we can just use it some kind of way. I'm going to use maybe, let's use this blue. You can see where we can put this one. Maybe we can just ink around. This kind of needs a little bit of a tear because see how the edge is? So just kind of make it a little bit of the same rough look a little bit. Just a little bit. It's always a challenge tearing the paper. Some people have a tear ruler that is able to make it messy like this a little bit in a uniform way. But I don't have that kind of tear ruler. Okay, so that's not too bad. We can go with that and just put a little ink on there. Sometimes these ink pads make me think that, girl, you need to buy the Tim Holtz ink. But I keep telling myself, nope, I'm not buying it. I don't want to spend $80 on ink. I really don't. And then you have to buy the, um, the refills of it. And for $80, I can buy these pads a whole lot of times. Maybe they're not as, you know... I don't know, as good of an ink, but it still does the same kind of job. So, we're just going to use what we use. When I tried to order the second set of these ink pads that I have, um, Timu didn't even have it. I had to get something else, which is why I have a smaller um, set, but they had brighter colors. And some of the same colors, too. So I just said, okay, we'll go with that. Whatever it is. As long as I can get a black, a blue, and some kind of brown, like orangey brown rust tan. Not tan, but cordovan or something like that. Okay. I said anything like that will be fine. So that's where I'm at with that. And it'll be all right. <clears throat> Just to age the papers, they don't have to be Tim Holtz. I'm sure he's had very, very nice ink pigment and all of that, but it's pricey for somebody like myself. Maybe one day I'll get some, but, you know, who knows? Maybe one day I'll get some. 
Might come to me a happy meal or something. Who knows? You never know. Whatever happy meal is, I guess that means people send you stuff. I don't really know what it means. I just hear them talking about it. I Googled it. I didn't find anything on happy meal. Happy meal. So, all right. Now, we got that. And then, you know, we have this. And let's see. Maybe we want to add some color to him a little bit. Why not? Let's add a little color to him. He okay. All right, and then we'll fold this in half, and maybe we will put this in another pocket somewhere. That's okay. That's fine. Do we have to put it there? Not really, but we can. Okay. And let's see. We got a couple more things in here that I was looking at to utilize this is a picture uh, see I was hoping not on here cause look at the chickens I was going to get this and this that's two pictures but then here's four so something won't work something just won't work okay so I guess I will take the more or let's see, let's first start with the baby chickens. Okay, let's get them first. And then we'll see of the turkey what we can get. Now see, these are good pictures for the, for the um, barn. We can use this real good, and then we'll take this one, okay? So, we already tore the turkey up, so that's just done, okay? Um, we can probably come in here this way, that's what I'm thinking, maybe. Come on across here and come down. And be there. Okay? And then this one. We'll tear this off around here. And come in here a little bit. And come around. Y'all, I don't have no whole bunch of things to talk about. I'm sorry if somebody thinks... You know, I should have all this kind of conversation, but all I'm just doing is trying to show you how I'm wanting to decorate this and hoping that it comes out fine. Okay, so I have these. Okay, and we want to put them somewhere, not on the same page. Oh, how about that? That looks pretty cool. How about that? How about we put it in there like this? That's cool. And when they pull it out, voila. Oh. Oh, it's a part of a turkey. Oh, maybe we should just, you know, leave it there. I don't really know. Maybe, maybe I can back this on some white paper. And then they don't have to see that part. Let's see what we can do. What is this actually? This is actually a fun page I don't want to get rid of. Um, let's use this book page here that I have. I have a book page right here with this color paper. So let's just um let's just move this out the way. Okay, this is my gluing pad under here which is two 12 by 12s and what I did was glue them together and um, I glue on top of it like this so I don't have to waste my magazines or book pages because then you can get it all the way to the end 
like they say you should do and then we can lay this all the way down on here and give somebody a nice piece of writing paper on the back of what they find okay I'll set this off to the side and pull everything back over a little bit I realize everything is still in screen okay and then I'm going to tear I'm not going to cut because I mean I just think that it's cool to just tear it and come around and around and around and then like oh this book page yes this book page just go slow so you don't tear too um too far underneath the edge of the page that has the the picture on it like you don't really want to do that and then it'll be that and now they can write on that if they want it says 88 right there but it's still a clean piece of paper for them to write on if they so choose to and tuck that in there okay let's make sure because it's still moist okay that's pretty cool it's pretty cool only this is a little distracting right here let's just tear that out a little bit right there so we're not reading but we we can see a little bit of text and it's okay if I had trimmed it with scissors then it would have taken away you know the rough of what I tore out uh, the picture itself so that's a little bit better okay put that in there and now that's there and then let's see what else we can add to the top what kind of stickers do I have let's see hmm um I don't have no sticker I do have that little duck let's see if we if we see it can it fit in there I have all these pieces maybe 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 it's okay if he sticks out a little bit let me take some of this off so it won't be so shiny Okay, and then that's not too bad. Okay, let's see. He sits in there pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. Okay, and then we have this here, and that's only one thing. So we need to find something else cool to add to that. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. But I think, let's see. What about if we get these shovels right here? What about it? I think they might work. Don't tear the wheelbarrow handle. We might come back for it. Okay. All right. What if we get this? like so put that over there and come on down here like this come around here like that how about that I think that's fine I do and I think maybe we can put that in here should we add some paper to it yes maybe we should maybe we should add a piece of paper to that Let's see, can we find some paper that is just 
Let's see, let's see. I had a piece already from last night, but did I use it all? I probably dropped it in. Oh, I know where I put it at. Here we go. Uh, it's right here. That's not it. That's book page from a magazine, but it's okay. We can. It's too shiny. Let's just use a piece of our dyed paper here. That's what we'll use. Just run it right on here. Just need a small amount. And just put that on here. All right. And then put this down on here like so. Never know what somebody wants to use it for. And we'll just go ahead and trim this one out. All right, and then that's okay. Run that down. And then you'll get to see what, what I mean if I trim the other one. It might not come out so good, but this is kind of white edged, so it might be okay. It might be. Maybe and maybe not. Okay, and that's that, and then we'll add that shovel in here, and when they pull that out, that'll be cool, right? That'll be cool. I think it will be. Okay, now let's see. What else do we have? We still have this little chicky. This little chicky needs to go back here on this. You know, we got a chick right there and this little chick right here. Let's see if we can see how is this standing. It's right here, like, okay. Okay, let's see where we're going to put it at. We don't know yet. Let's put it inside. Let's put it inside the barn. Put it inside the barn. Maybe here, maybe here. Let's put it in. That's okay. That's fine. The main point is to make sure it's not upside down like that. He's eating. I'm trying to make sure I can see how he's eating. His little feet. I wish somebody could help me, but I can't tell. It looks upside down like that. And this one looks maybe like that, I guess. I'm putting it this way, guys. I don't really know. Okay. I think it'll be fine. I'm not sure, but I think it will be. Okay. Then, let's get this. I see something fun right here. I'm going to get this right here. Okay. And then, just like a little sack of seed, okay? Just a little sack of seed. And you see the mice? They're trying to have at it. I'm going to tear this little bit of black off. Like so. And that's okay. Then we tear this around here and come in a little bit. Come out a little bit. Watch the tail. Come around. And then we'll put this down somewhere. Let's see. Where can we put this? Okay. All right. Let's see where we can put this little sack. Hmm. Right there. Looks cool. Put that right there. Run that on there a little bit. And put this down here. Get the edges. And let that be right there. Okay. Okay. All right. 
And then we have that. This is still peeling up a little bit. Okay. Now, we got a little bit of something happening at the barn. We still need something on the outside of it. Um, let's see what we can find. Those ducks, I mean, the little chicks that I have. Hmm. I want them all the way up there. I don't even want them on, on there. I'm going to put them somewhere else. Let's put these somewhere else. Isn't that cool? That's cool. No. Let's see where we can put the little chickies. This is kind of a, a rough page here for me. Am I thinking? I just feel like it's kind of hard on you. It's a lot of ink. Let's put this on here. And we're going to fix it all the way down, I think. And don't make it a pocket. All right? Because it's a lot of ink here. Let's see. But these colors help this page out. Okay? I'm going to put some out here a little bit. Okay. Maybe if we put these little chicks down here too, and they might, you know, they might need something else to help identify where we at with the whole thing. But who knows? Let's just tear this off at the edge and just put it down here. I think it'll be okay. Everybody hang out together right here. I think that is okay. Okay, and now maybe what we want to do here is add some add some writing space to this, or maybe maybe hmm. Let me think about it. I'll come back to that. Okay, let's see what else we can find in this book. I still have a bird and this duck. I guess the other one is a drake, right? I guess. And a horse. Let's see. The horse is not that shiny, but this one is. This one is kind of shiny. Let's see something. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You don't have to decorate every page. You need to leave somebody something. Okay, I'll leave that right there. This is moving every time. All right. This looks good now. I like it like that, but I was thinking about a piece of page here. A piece of page, like, you know, I don't know. Should we put a piece of this kind? Maybe. Or should we put a piece of book page? Maybe book page might look good. Let's try it. Let's try a piece of book page. I'm going to try to use this as a tear ruler. Hold it firm. Okay, it's good. It works. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Should we put it there? Should we tear a little bit of that off up there? Let's see. This is not the straightest edge, I don't think. All right, let's see. Yeah, that might that might work. 
that might be okay. Even with the number on it, it still might be okay. It's just book page. It's all right. Just offers a space to write in. Let's try and get it on there and put it in here. Just trying to make sure it's not that close into the bird's head some kind of way. But offers something else. There you go. That's good. I think it's all right like that. I think. Okay. Somebody want to write on there, they can. How about it? I think that can work too. Maybe the duck is trying to get over there to get some of what they're having, a little snack of one. Okay. All right. Let's open this up. Okay. All right, that looks good. Now, where is security? <laughs> Let's take that line out. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? This is what happens when you have everything everywhere. Are they inside the book? They're not. Okay, they're not underneath the book. Have they fallen? Yes, they have. They have fallen. And I have rescued them. Okay, I thought this line might work right here. Okay. <laughs> you see what I see now? Maybe. Okay. And I'm going to put it right here as if... Ducky is saying, what on earth? They're eating everything. Where is security? That's cute. I like it. I like it. Okay. And then, um, let's see. What else can we add? We're on 47. We're about to end this. We're about to end this. Oh, should we get them? We should. We should. We should, we should, we should. Okay, let's get these. And where are we going to put them? Let's see where we can put Oh, where can we put them? Oh, where can we put them? Maybe. Maybe here. Maybe here. This one is kind of, you see how it is. We got to figure out how we want to tear. Do you want to tear them together? Yeah, we'll tear them together like this and come around here and tear these together. Okay, and then we're going to come around here and try and tear out some of this little wrinkle that's in here. And come here and don't tear too much of the color away. All right, that's what we got. Okay, we could put this back here, or I like it like that. Maybe we'll put this here. Maybe we gotta take some more of this off of here first. And, hmm, maybe we can take all of this off now. 
and maybe we'll put this here. How about if we put it here? No, here. We'll put it here. Let's put some ink on it. A little bit of black ink. Why are they here by themselves? Um, I don't know. It looks like it should be okay if they're there by themselves. Maybe the feed is a little spread out and they can be off to the side getting the, the spread of what happened when they were getting fed. Okay, put that in there. Put this one here, just right there. And it is cool. All right, I think that's cool. And then when we turn the page, these are eating and they're right there. Okay, maybe she's looking for them. Okay, and then we can have this one. And this one can be maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe, maybe. Let's see if we can. Maybe we should trim this one out some with the scissors. Don't take, just come in here a little bit. Just a little bit. And just take out the fence. Let's trim it a little bit closer. This crease is in here. Just gonna try to take out her tail. Okay. And come in here. And go around. Oh, come on. This crease is in there. It's all right. I'm going to take too much out of her mouth. All right, and then maybe we'll do it like this. We might even trim it all the way, all the way around her body and just... Let it drop out into the feed. Like so. It's kind of cool, but we gotta do something here. Okay. Kinda cool. Kinda, kinda, kinda. Nada. Okay. All right. Let's just try and put it down now. Okay. Let's put it down. We might have to move it down some. I don't want the head to get cut off some kind of way. All right. And then put this piece down and down. And let's see. Okay. Not too bad. Her tail is up. That can stay up. Okay. So maybe she's looking at those little babies checking them out okay i see this i don't know why i see this but i do i do see it let's let's add something somewhere i don't know where or why i don't think you have to have no real reason for it just just do it kind of thing and that's it 
That's what they do. They just do something. And it's okay when you just do something. There's no kind of rhyme or reason. Just work with it and go with it and let it be okay. You know? You ain't real sure what the whole piece is. But we're going to go with it. I don't know why I see it like that. But that's what I do see. Just put that there. Strings and all. And it's okay. Okay? And then we'll put this piece over here. I'm not sure why. But I see it. So I'm going with it. Just like, okay, that's what we got. Let's put that down. And since I have that string, I'll add some more string. I have all kinds of string. Because I save string because they be sewing string on. And I see I have a cup that says loose string. And it's just all kinds of string. And so we'll just add a little bit of string to our paper like this. It doesn't have to have a reason. You just put something somewhere. They sew it, but I'm not going to sew. I'm just going to glue and it'll stick and that'll be it. Okay. I'm not sure why, but that's what it's looking like to me today, right now. Okay. And that's what we got. Okay. Somebody might think that's cool. I don't really know. I think it's cool. I think that's very cool. And so I'm going to stop here. Let this dry. And I'm going to maybe. Um, maybe work on. The other journals. Putting them together. I don't know. But I definitely need to let this dry. Before I flip the page. I don't know why I put that like that. But I think it's very cool. I like it. So we're going to stop here. And I will see you as I keep venturing through trying to see how we're going to do something else. We have more pictures and more things that we can add from the book and another little fun page that I had. So we'll see. Maybe I'll come up with something else to add and do. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I hope that you will like, comment, and if you have not already subscribed, that you will consider subscribing to my channel and that you will hang out with me and give me some suggestions. I don't really know how to do this, but I'm getting my feet wet a little bit and at least I'm dipping my toes in and um, I'll see y'all in my next video. Thanks for being here. Have a great night. Peace.